Hey teacher friends, I've got another math game for you and this one involves just one set of cards and a pad of paper and a pencil and that is it. So you as the teacher need a deck of cards and the paper and pencil. Your students would need a, um, a piece of paper and their pencil. So I do this during my video meetings with my students and I shuffle the cards, put them face down. And um, what I do is this is, I call it girls versus boys multiplication war. You've probably heard of multiplication war. It's not really anything new, um, but I just kind of adapted it for our video meetings. So here's how I do it. Um, I tell the girls that they're gonna work on problems and the boys that they're gonna work on problems and they only work on their problem that I give them. So you can see on my sheet, I have a girls section and a boys section. I do this to keep track of the score so that I can check on them. Um, but anyway, I hold up two cards and I ask the girls to multiply this together. So I'll say, girls, your cards are nine times five. Will you please write that on your piece of paper? Write down what the answer is to nine times five. And then I put the cards on one side of my desk to keep track of them. And then I ask the boys to multiply the next two cards. And I say, boys, your two cards are nine times four. Multiply those two together and write down the answer on your piece of paper. And I give them a little bit of time to think about it. Now notice I put the boys' cards on the other side of the table so that I can keep track of the girls' and the boys' cards because I come back and revisit them. Girls, your next set of cards are a jack times a two. Now, I made jacks 10, uh, uh, queens 11, and kings 12, but you make them any point that you want, teachers. So girls, yours is 10 times two. Write that answer down and stack it on top of the other number, like a tall tower. Boys, your card is, sorry, nine times eight. Boys, write down what the answer is to nine times eight. And then we do one more round of girls and boys. Girls, yours is six times seven. Write down that, going a little faster than I would with them. And boys, yours is 12 times one. Write down what the answer is to 12 times one, boys. Now, I did not write everything down, but they would. the girls would be writing down their answers and Sorry, these are not the answers. This is from a previous game, but the first round, they would write down their answer here, second round and third round, and then they're going to add them all up. Before I have them add up, because I tell my kids to stack them in a tower, that's how I always refer to it, I go back over them with my class before I have them add them together. So I'll go over the girls first. So I'll say, girls, Yours was nine times five. Girls, what'd you get for nine times five? And I go ahead and ask. I get some, you know, different answers and I get some that are right. But hopefully they, and I say, yep, that's right, 45. Good job, ladies. And girls, your next problem was 10 times two. What did you get for 10 times two? And I'll get different answers, but hopefully most of them are correct. Girls, good job, that was 20. Check your answer on your paper because you need to have the right answer. Do you have 20? And then girls, your last one was six times seven. Girls, what'd you get for six times seven? Oh, I heard somebody say 42, that's correct, 42. Now girls, I need you to take your three numbers that you got for your answers, 45, 20, and 42, and I need you to stack them up and add them together. And while the girls are adding, then I go through the boys and I'll say, boys, what was your first answer, second answer, third answer? And then I ask the boys to add. While the boys are adding, I'll ask the girls what they got for their answer and I check it with mine. And then the same thing. And we can maybe even go through the steps and, you know, I can explain if there's any regrouping. But we've practiced our multiplication facts, and we've practiced um, adding with regrouping sometimes. And so then I'll ask, you know, who had the highest score out of the boys and the girls when you added them together? If it was the boys, then I'll say, boys, you win this round. 
and we played three rounds. So you can see here, this was my, sorry, I keep pointing to the wrong side, round one, round two, and round three, which I haven't added yet, okay? And then, so I would say, you know, look, the boys won this round, um, the girls won this round, and then whoever, my last one is always my tiebreaker. So the best two out of three. And, um, and then also one of my kids said, hey, let's find out who got the biggest score overall. And so then my girls would add 80 plus, sorry, again, wrong side, 80 plus 133 and then whatever this was. And they would add those three up. So I'm just getting more opportunities to practice those math with a game involved inside. Say, everybody, good job. Boys won today. We'll see who wins tomorrow. So anyway, I hope that gives you a good idea of a new idea to do during your video meetings because I know we're all desperate for new ideas to keep our kids engaged. So the I am Amber from TGIF. So goodbye.